Welcome to Penobscot, New Brunswick's dirty little secret. Penobscot is the poster child of what happens when things in the industry go horribly wrong. I have lived in Penobscot for 30 years, and in that time I have seen a beautiful rural farming community turned into an industrial park. The face of my community, my home, has changed forever never to return, never to be the same. Industry changes the landscape forever. It changes not only the landscape, it changes the community in which you live. In my experience, it divides the community. Penobscot is home to environmental damages such as gas wells on natural floodplains, hydraulic fracking, hydraulic fracking spills, noise, light, and air pollution, and let's not forget the 60 homes who lost their natural well water and spring water. Subsidence and horizontal displacement of the land. And just for good measures, we're going to throw in a gas pipeline that runs right along the railroad line, which carries tankers of crude oil. Good. Anybody want to buy my house? No. In a recent newspaper article, Minister Craig Leonard assures New Brunswickers that the gas wells are monitored each month. They're not monitored by a government department. They are not monitored by an independent company. The gas wells are monitored by Corridor. <laughs> How reassuring. A fox in the hen house. Mr. LePierre wants to proceed, but let's drill some test wells first. I ask. What's wrong with the 30 wells in Penobscot? Why aren't we studying these wells? Why do we need to drill 30 more? I guess that explains why Mr. LaPierre can't remember which university he got his doctrine from. <laughs> yes, he got one. Premier David Allward is touting jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, according to Mr. Allward, there will be 30 jobs per gas well. The 30 gas wells in Penobscot. So 30 gas wells times 30 jobs, that's 900 jobs. That means that every man, woman, child, dog, and cat in Penobscot should have a job in the gas industry. <laughs> so, okay, there's only 17 gas wells that are in production. Let's round it down to make it up to 20, just for even easy math, okay? So 20 gas wells times 30 jobs that's 600 jobs, which means that every man, woman, child, and dog should have a job in the gas industry in Penobscot. It simply isn't true. Make no mistake, the government and industry will tell you what you want to hear. For the past 10 years, Penobscot has and is the victim of industrial and government apathy and indifference. The past and present government of New Brunswick has done very little to support and protect the people of New Brunswick. Their treatment of Penobscot should send a clear message to all New Brunswickers of what you can expect should a fracking pollute your water. It is time for the people of New Brunswick to wake up, stand up, and say no! No!